hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video i gave you the project overview and in today's video we will create our project from spring initializer and we will connect our project with mysql db and after that we will create the user entity as well so let's get started to create the project you can go to start.spring.io and here we need to select the maven and for a spring boot version we can go with 3.0.10 and make sure uh, you have selected java as language in the group we can write here code with projects and we can name this project as ecom after this you can uh, keep the packaging as jar and you can select the java version according to your requirement i am going with the java 17 after this uh, let's add the dependencies now first of all we need my sql to connect with my sql db then we need web because we want to create the rest apis after spring web we can add lombok to create the getters and setters and other boilerplate code. Next one, we need a spring security. And we need JPA as well. That's it for now. If we need any more dependencies, we will add them in the POM file. Now uh, let's click on this generate button. As you can see, our project is uh, downloaded. Let's extract this project and open this in IntelliJ. As you can see, I opened our project in IntelliJ and now you can wait for the project sync. While our project is uh, syncing in IntelliJ, uh, let's go to my SQL workbench and let's create uh, the database for our project. To do that, we can click on this icon and it will ask us for the name of the schema and we can give ecom underscore code underscore with underscore projects after giving the name you can click on apply and click on apply again and finish as you can see our schema got created let's go to intellij and add the properties to connect with this database. To add the properties, uh, let's open this src folder and then main and then resources and then open application.properties. In application.properties, uh, first of all, we need the URL for our uh, database and for the URL, we can write spring.datasource.url then JDBC, MySQL, uh, your local host address and your port and then after that you need to mention your schema name and in our case the schema name is ecom underscore code underscore with underscore projects after the url of our schema we need to give the username and to do that you can write spring dot data source dot username and for me the username is root so i gave root here after username, we need to give the password and you can write spring.datasource.password and then you can mention your password. After the password, we need to give the driver class URL and you can mention spring.datasource.driver class name is equals to com.mysql cj jdbc.driver. After the driver class name, uh, let's give the dll auto as update and show sql queries is equal to true so we can see the my sql queries got executed with that our project sync is completed as well now uh, let's go in the java folder and in our main folder let's right click and click on new package and name this package as entity in this package right click 
and click on new java class and name this class as user so uh, let's add some annotations and to start with we need to mention entity and then to create the getters and setters we can write here data and the last one is at the rate a table and let's give a table name as users in this user class first of all we need id so we can write private long id and we need to add some annotations for this id so the first one is at the rate id and the second one we need to give the generation logic so we can write generation value and then we can mention strategy is equals to generation type identity so it can increment the ids while creating a new user after id we need email and we need password as well after password we need username and we need user role after that we need to store the user image so we can write private byte array and then we can name it as image let's annotate this as at the rate lob so we can store the large data and uh, let's change the column uh, definition as well to uh, column definition is equals to long blob now we need to create an enum of username so let's do that let's copy the name and let's create another package here enums and let's create a new java class that will be enum and let's name this as user role in this user role the first user role will be admin and the second one will be customer now let's go to our user class and let's import this enum that's it for the user and user role now let's go to our main class and try to run our application so we can click on this button and then run ecom application as you can see our application is up on port 8080 now let's go to my SQL workbench and let's refresh our schema and confirm if our user table got created or not. So let's expand these tables now and as, as you can see our users table got created and we have all the fields which we mentioned in the entity. That's it for this video. In the next video we will set up the Angular project. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can comment them down below.